Councillor Chamber of Commerce, the Regen and Recovery event. We have had this planned for quite some time and because COVID got in the way, we've had to keep pushing it back, but here we are. Hooray, we got there. Here we're going to be talking about the two and a half billion pounds being invested in our borough right now from people from overseas and UK to regenerate this borough and build economic recovery after Covid. This is exactly what the borough needs at the moment and this is going to be the best economic growth time that the borough has seen so we want everybody to be the successful part of the best developing borough in West London. Uh, I think relative to other places, I think Hounslow has done extremely well, extremely well. And I think it just shows the resilience of the borough in terms of actually how quickly we were able to adapt, uh, how imaginative we've been in terms of actually the new initiatives we've come forward with, how we've engaged with our communities, how we've engaged with local businesses. So I think all in all, if you look at where we are now and today, We've got a very healthy situation in terms of the council, in the borough, and I think we've got a lot to look forward to. And in many ways, all of Hounslow, the entire borough and its population, they should be proud of actually all that they've done together to get to where we are now. I think it's a great opportunity to help the community in their recovery programme. It's been a tough 18 months, as you know, and uh, getting to the Premier League means that we're going to have a full stadium every other week. Uh, lots of people coming into the area and hopefully spending plenty of money um, prior to and after the game. So a great chance for everybody in the community to benefit from Brentford's success. Um, we've had some of the best speakers from some of the largest construction and development companies in the UK come along to our event today, plus some of the bigger employers and education companies to try and show that there's a future outside this recession on how the companies can grow, how the economy can grow and how the local borough can grow. And we want to show how this can change from Hounslow being a smoky, um, industrial borough into being a cutting edge smart city borough of the future. So we're really proud of what we've managed to achieve today and we're proud of the people that have come along and um, it's making such a big difference to our borough. I think it's been just being around people and learning from everyone and being having to have that shared passion with everyone around you. It's great to have that again. I mean, speaking to different universities, having those future minds that come into this industry because there is a lack of skill and talent that is happening right now and if we can get more of those people pushed into it, it's amazing and, and, and just here today again as we said, just it's being a bit normal again and having that bit about life that you can go home and think oh my god Covid may, may have not happened so looking forward to the next one. You know we're embedded in the community with most of our projects, um, we do a lot of work with local charities um, so we also do a lot of volunteering in the borough as well, so we've been delivering for Hounslow Food Box. Um, we've also just uh, been helping with an open garden for one of the local schools, um, so to help the kids learn about nature. So yeah, lots going on at EcoWorld and Hounslow. I'm going to say it myself, I think it's been a resounding success and I'm just so proud of us all for making this happen. We know what the bad news was yesterday. What you live for is tomorrow, not for yesterday. So look at what we can do going forward. And that's what today's all about. Final question from me, uh, in your plans with Brentford FC, which year are they winning the Premier League tonight? <laughs> well, we'll, um, we'll we, we won't forget where we came from.